Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to fix permissions problem or couldn't create a directory on plugin installing. So, uh, welcome to the tutorial. So, uh, this happens when you are trying to install some themes or plugins you know and this occur sometimes like you know I'm gonna try to add a thing here and then I'm gonna search for blog okay uh, as you can see, there's an error. It says installation failed. Unable to connect the file system. Please confirm your credential. Mm. Okay, this problem could be happen because the web server. I mean, if you have this MPP, which is Apache web server, and then the web server itself can't create some directories or make some actions so what I'm gonna do is try to fix the permissions error so here's a simple solution for you uh, you're going to browse to your XMPP directory for me it's on application XMPP and then etc and you're going to find here httpd.conf then you're going to open it I prefer to open it on Visual Studio Code which is here okay okay uh, the two lines that we should Point it out is user daemon and group daemon. So basically, it's the the owner, the owner of the web server. You know, the web server runs on which user. So the the default for me it's daemon. So what is the best options for this? Okay. The, the best option is you go to the terminal and then you are going to type id and you'll see my local user is mac and then the groups is staff all you need to do is Comment this by putting a hashtag okay and then you just copy this change this to my like this my and then change this to staff like this for the groups after that you have to save it and then uh, sometimes you have this error says insufficient permission so you're gonna try a sudo try a sudo and input your password okay it's saved and then you have to restart the web server I'm gonna restart it Okay, it's restarted so we just need to reinstall it
okay as you can see it's installed so the solution is just to change the two lines of user and group and then voila you can next define the theme and then you can just hit your blog once again and get customized more okay thank you for watching guys hope this video helps you for fixing the permissions issue goodbye